Okay, so here we've got a question involving um, straight line equation. Uh, so we should recognize that y equals mx plus c is a standard format. So we've got um, c being where the line intersects with the y-axis when x is 0, and m being the gradient of the line. So for every 1 across, we go up the gradient. Um, so, okay, so it wants to write down an equation that's parallel to this one. Well, parallel, remember, means um, it's got to have the same gradient. So the number in front of the x, the coefficient of x, is the gradient. So in this case, it's negative 2 because of negative 2x. So we need to have negative 2x again to make sure it's got the same gradient to be parallel. But the constant term where the line crosses the axes um, could be any number. So we could leave it as y equals negative 2x and have that as 0. But I'm going to put 10. So it's y equals 10, take away 2x. It then says find the equation of a straight line that is perpendicular to this line. Well, as soon as we see that keyword perpendicular, the link into straight lines is there is a rule that says that the two gradients, let's call them m1 and m2, first line and second line, the product of those two gradients must give an answer of minus 1. So if we look at the original um, equation, um, the gradient uh, m1 is negative 2, that's the gradient of the first line. So we're doing negative 2 times the second gradient, gives us an answer of negative 1. Well, hopefully we can see that if we rearrange this, then m2 is going to be negative 1 divided by negative 2. Two negatives divided make a positive, so it's going to be a positive a half. So we now know that the new equation is going to be a half of x plus some number. We're not quite sure what this number is yet because um, we've got a coordinate it goes through but uh, we haven't got a graph to read off or anything like that. But because we've got this coordinate that it goes through then it must be that those values will work for this equation. So for 1 we need to remember that the first digit is the coordinate or the first value is the coordinate of x and the second one is the coordinate of y. So we now have some values to put into this uh, function here uh, so that we can work out the missing value of c, the uh, cross point. So let's have a look. 1 equals a half times 4 plus c. Uh, 1 equals well, a half, 4 is 2 plus c. Well, again, from rearranging, we take this positive 2 across here as a takeaway. So 1 take away 2 equals c, and therefore 1 take away 2 is minus 1. So the equation for the perpendicular line that goes through the coordinate 4, 1 is y equals a half x take away 1. And we just double check. Um, we said that when x is 4, so a half of 4 is 2, take away 1 is 1. That gives us the y coordinates of 1, which we wanted. So the final answer, half x, take away 1.